The world is definitely changing. You can't rely anymore on the nine to five for 40 years. You can't be certain that you've got a job at the company you were at. You can't be certain your pension's going to be there, your social security's going to be there, your health care's going to be there. There's so many things that are different now than they used to be. And guess what? That rate of change is happening faster. Now they say people will change their jobs seven times in their lifetime. You have to rely on yourself. Now is the time to look at your future, and you should decide to take control of your own life. Get involved in some type of home-based business, something that you can do that you can control your income by the efforts you put into it. I think network marketing is the best thing to do that. If you're going to look for a home-based business, I think what you need to look for is number one, is it in an expanding market? Is the timing right? Is it in front of certain trends? You know, the biggest trendsetters in the world right now are the baby boomers. And so right now, for example, wellness would be something that's on the minds of the baby boomers. The other thing is the company, is it solid? You want to have some kind of a track record. You want to know that's going to be there for a long time. They're financially sound. I think that the uniqueness also involves patented and locked in proprietary products. There are companies out there that meet all those criteria, but there are few and far between. I worked 17 years in the software industry that provided a wonderful financial career, but I found myself uh, winning the rat race financially, but living like a rat. When we were younger and Terry worked in software, he was just never home. He'd come home for dinner and then actually go back to work. I felt like I was a single parent. I'd wake up, my dad wouldn't be home. You know, I never really saw him. He wasn't raising me as his kid. He was just providing for me. You try and understand, well, it's for his job, but still, as a child, it hurts. I just remember him being out of town a lot. A lot. And Amy and I kind of got a point in our relationship, and certainly with the kids coming along and getting older and older, there's more to life than just money. And for us, it's about being a family, and I wasn't part of that family. There was actually one key moment that probably planted the seed for me. Matthew was sitting on my lap one day and said to me, Dad, do you still love me? He didn't even say anything. I remember seeing he was wearing sunglasses and tears coming from his eyes. I was like, Dad, why are you crying? And he's well, why do you say that? And I was like, well, I never see you. You know, I just don't know if I love you anymore. Yeah, that's like a stab in the heart. And so I hadn't really planted for me uh, just the way to get my life back. January. 1994, I quit my full-time job. I was earning around six figures at the time, and I wanted to be a dad again. And that's the reason why I got out of corporate America. And I just saw this industry as my way to give my family what it needed so they could have their dad back. The home-based business industry had lots of great products out there. So it was a matter for me of finding the right one. I started actually doing the network marketing business. Amy had gotten involved with this home business and it looked like a pretty secure company. The product had been around for over 100 years at that point in time. Unfortunately, with that type of company, you had to inventory a lot of products. In fact, I celebrated the day that I actually had a tractor trailer load of products delivered so that I could go to trade shows. And I would just load up our minivan, phone full of product, and I'd be gone for three, four, five days at a time. He supposedly had a home-based business, but he was never here. That company that Amy and I had originally gotten started with was about direct sales. It was about pushing product. So we started working with one that was financially services based. And it was a great product. But what it turned out to be was all about the money. And after about eight months with that company, my residual wasn't over $500. Even though we had thought it would be much better, it really wasn't. And we started going through our kids' college funds. So I started working with this marketing consultant. And that's really where I got a glimpse of the power of the industry. I got pretty excited. He called me on the telephone and he told me, I'm going to try another one. And I was, I was devastated. I mean, I started crying on the telephone. She told me to get a real job again. The dream that we were working towards building wasn't happening. And we were basically going broke. I just saw something in this company that I'd never seen before. Amy didn't see what I saw. You know, it was just that initial shock of, oh my God, we're going through this again. <laughs> After I got over it, I was like, you know what? You bring the products home. If they work for me, I will support you. And we'll give it one more try. Really, after about two weeks, she came back from that with like, a, wow, my body really is changing. 
when I saw that, that things were changing, then I would put all of my support behind him. The people who think that network marketing is not a noble profession just don't really understand what it really is. I've never seen anybody look at this business model that we have who really studied it, understood the power of it, who didn't really get involved with it. Because I'll put my business side by side any of those people and I'll compare lifestyles and I'll compare inventories and I'll compare financial benefits. If somebody says, is this one of those networking deals? I'll say, absolutely, and I thank God for it every day. Because you know what, I wouldn't have the lifestyle I have today. I did the corporate America thing for 17 years. You know, I had the money, but I had no life. I want both. I love it. <laughs> there are days that I go out to the pool and I have my cell phone with my trio and I can run my business by the pool or on the beach. You can be talking to people all over the world no matter where you are and have a worldwide organization with simple tools. It's important that you uh, have healthy cells, wouldn't you think that? For many people, when they look at starting a business and when you talk about, okay, well, how does it work? What do I have to do? They say, do I have to sell anything? And I say, I hope not, because I'm not interested in selling or pressuring anybody into a decision. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, bye. Our job is to expose the information to people. And what I know about myself is that I hate to be sold, but I love to buy. So give me the information, let me make an educated decision, and I'll do what I want to do. My way of doing the business is pretty much just being at my desk and just talking to people. I have marketing campaigns that I run and I talked to people on the phone. When I got Amy's approval to get started in this, I knew I had to go at it pretty hard. We had basically had three and a half years of very little income. In the early days, I would work to midnight. By the end of the first year, the kids could probably say the presentation just as good as I could over the phone because their bedrooms were right next door to my office. <laughs> it almost became like a lullaby for them. They learned all about the business and they were getting it in their sleep. Maybe that's why they both want to do it. When Christina first started right out of high school, she started on the phone. And I can remember her sitting back in her office, back in her bedroom, and I could hear her giving her presentations, and my heart would just want to break. She realized very quickly that that was not how she wanted to do the business. After about two years of being miserable on the phone, I ended up started doing house parties. That is how I love to do this business. And for me, maybe I'm an old fuddy-duddy or something. I just like sitting at home and just talking to people. She likes to be where it's happening. You know, my happiness stages maybe are over, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, we both have great success. I've been in the industry for 14 years full time and I'm at a place in my career and in my life where I get so much joy out of seeing people on a path where they can have whatever it is that they want. And I'm certainly seeing this with my children now getting involved with the business. Doing this business together as a family has been really rewarding. We not only feel proud of the fact that our kids want to do this business, both Christina and Matthew, we feel confident that they'll be successful and we know it's going to be here for them. They'll be able to create far more for themselves. They won't lose 17 years that I did in the corporate world because they'll be able to be working from home and generating a significant income. What greater gift could you give it your, your child? an opportunity to live like that. It's fun because it's not just about business, it's about being together with the family. There's not too many companies where you can be like, oh, you know, my dad and my sister do this too. There's so much support there. It's an incredible blessing that my dad hooked me up with. Every day I'm like, I wonder if I told him enough, like how grateful I am. It is very, very exciting to think we'll be doing this together for, you know, who knows, 30 or 40 years. I'm so excited about life right now. I'm almost 50 years old. And I'm just beginning, I feel like, and you know, the next 50, 60, 70 years are going to be absolutely awesome. I am so proud of everything that Terry's done. I mean, I really have a life where I can do whatever I want. And it's all because of Terry. He has put forth so much effort, and it's all because of the love of his family. He had the strength and belief in himself to create a multi-million dollar business from scratch. So am I proud of my dad? Of course I'm proud of my dad. What he's provided is just so great and so big and it's just so impressive and I'm like, good, good job, dad, good job.